Thank you for joining me today in the Hardport Pub. I was going through my refrigerator trying to get rid of some beers that have been in there a long time. Uh, it's going to be my first beer of the day, first review. Uh, man, they're all bangers. They're all bangers. But I found this one. This one here is a Tusker Finest Quality Lager. 4.2% alcohol, 12 fluid ounces. It says Tusker. That's right, Tiger says. That's right, you heard it. Together forever, when you open a bottle of Tusker, you are joining the world in celebrating one of Africa's greatest original beers. Ah, oh, it's an African beer. An elephant on the label. You're uh, celebrating one of Africa's great original beers. Tusker has been brewed with care, craft, and love since 1922. Every crisp, clean mouthful summons up the taste, sunshine, and love of life in its African roots. Product of Kenya. So this is in Kenya, Africa. I'm excited about this. You know, I once, uh, I was gonna go to Kenya one time, uh, years and years ago, and then uh, I discovered through research that they've got one of the largest species of, I just washed this glass, I'm not gonna use it, largest species of tarantulas there. So that made that a no-go place for me. I do not do, tarantulas unless I've got a machine gun or a flamethrower preferably a flamethrower all right let's see what she looks like she's really really pale nice clean head pure white moderate carbonation Mm. Okay, Tiger, if you want to be on camera, come be on camera. Don't be, don't be shouting commands from the other room. My goodness, come up here. Kids just got home from school, so he's, uh, you know, he's wanting to play. Take a break from his guard duties around the hardcore pub. All right. It just has a, a soft, subtle... Almost a little floral uh, scent, like some mild flowers. I just took like four or five gulps of this beer. Cause I know it's a it's a lager, you know, so lagers are typically gonna be light. I've been outside though, vacuuming out the car, and uh, it's not hot, but it's not cold either. It's a nice, warm, sunshiny day, so I needed that. And uh, the aftertaste on this, I'm gonna say in the mouth. It tastes way more carbonated than it looks. Um, in the mouth, it, it just it tastes like you know a traditional lager would taste. But that aftertaste, after you swallow it, it's not a subtle back end that comes up back of your throat. It's like it's like a big wave. It's like a woof. It comes up and then it just hits your tongue and gives you this flavor. It's a it's a dryness. It's not sour. It's not sour. So don't misunderstand when I say it's like biting into a lemon. It's not. But what I'm, what I'm talking about is like is if you bite into a lemon or lick a lemon. Not the sour part, but after the sourness has gone away, kind of like that flavor that's left in your mouth. That's kind of what comes up the back and, and hits you. It's, it was unexpected. I wasn't expecting it because it's a very bold aftertaste. And I like it. I think this is my first African beer I've ever had. Woo. Such a classy bloke. She does know me so well. Yeah, this. 
this is nice. I don't remember what I paid for this because usually when I go on a beer run, the main place I go is um, Total Wine and More. And if anybody's ever been in one of those stores or a store like it, where you go in there and it's just, they have so many, many, many choices. And what I love is their section for singles is huge. So, you know, they got the little six pack holders hanging up all over the place. You, you grab you a six pack holder and you go grab six different beers. You, you put, then you grab another six pack holder and you grab six different other beers. Um, I usually walk out of there with probably four of those mixed six packs, which means I now have 24 beers to review, and that's from one beer run. And I need to stop doing that because, like I said, I got a bunch of beers, and then every time I go to a, a place that has beer, I look, and if they got something I, don't, I never had or I want to review, I buy it, so then the fridge gets full, but a lot of my stuff gets pushed into the back, and I don't see it for months and months. Um, this one here said it was uh, brewed on 6th of May of 2020 with an expiration date of 6th of May 2021. So this actually expired yesterday. But I'm going to tell you, this still tastes fantastic. I didn't even know that this was, I'm in the United States, I didn't even know this was a foreign beer. Uh, because it doesn't say it on the front. Oh, it does say in the front. It says imported Tusker. But it doesn't say anything about where it's imported from. you got to actually read the back to figure that out. So, like I said, this is a Tusker. 4.2% alcohol lager beer. Product of Kenya in Africa. I love it. Very nice, very nice flavor in your mouth. It's carbonated. It's got an amazing aftertaste. And... I most definitely would buy this one again. So thanks for stopping by the Hardport Pub. I will see you next time. Till then. Well, here it comes. Boom!